right. My wife says to me, hey, babe. Okay. Nice to have you home. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, let me find a place to put you guys. <clears throat> She says, uh, I need a new toilet paper uh, holder. Now we have one in there that's new. It's got the IV things and the you know, chrome and all that kind of crap. But she wants something different. She wants something that we can just slide the roll on. So, I told her, well, I'll put together a little piece of like a prototype, if that's what you want to call it, of something, and then you can decide from there how you want it done or not done, and then uh, if you want, I can take it to a friend of mine and you can have them fabricated out of chrome, metal, aluminum, uh, or whatever you want to do at this point. I said, but let's see if we can put something together first. So that's what I'm doing now. This is just water, by the way. I keep a little bottle here with water in it and a brush all the time. Uh, every now and then I got to rinse it out because it becomes more of a glue than it does with water. But I like to wet the board down before I put the glue on it. Uh, it kind of, in my opinion, it kind of helps the glue to get into the board uh, a lot faster and adhere to within the board and not just on top of the board. You know, almost like, uh, I don't know, you guys ever work with silicone or something or liquid nail and you put it on something and you go back to it a year later and it just peels off because it never really stuck? So, this is just a habit I got into, so. All right, so now that that's done, I take the old gluey brush and I put it back in the bucket, a little, little bottle of water, and that's where it sits. All right, so now I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna get a couple clamps, we're gonna clamp that nice and tight. Let me see. Let's use four of these little puppies. Yeah, I got a clamp over there. I'll show it to you in a minute. I like it, and I can't find it anymore. I'm sorry I didn't buy more. It is such an easy clamp to work with, and it does such a nice job. These are okay, but you gotta make sure that you catch it, otherwise it doesn't wanna do what it's supposed to do. So we're going to let this sit for a while. I'll probably just put it on top of the... Uh, these are not really not that bad, but like I say, you got to make sure that you keep the edges here uh, from building up with crap because there's little bridges cut in. And if... Uh, It has a chance to slip on something it will okay so let's take my little brush out here splatter it on the floor and just clean up the edges a little bit so I said to her do you want it made out of wood brass copper you know uh, whatever you know she has whatever is easiest you know? Okay, we'll leave it whatever's easiest, I guess. Well, like I say, this is not going to be the finished product. This is just going to be an idea to get an idea of what she wants to do or how it's going to work and, and so on. <clears throat> now, I know you're kind of puzzled at this point because uh, how's it going to work, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. 
put this up here on my oven and let it uh, let it heat up. That plenum is a good idea, I tell you, because uh, it gets nice and hot. And uh, at this point, it helps things dry a lot faster. All right, so let me go get the rest of this, and I'll give you an idea what I'm talking about here. We're talking about these. And talking about something like this, um, again, this isn't, this is just a, a prototype, if that's what you want to call it, to get an idea uh, on if it's going to work before I do anything else with it. Naturally, this is going to be a lot shorter, uh, and this will end up being countersunk into that piece I just did, and this is on a little bit of an angle, um, because... Believe it or not, to tear it off, it works better with a little angle. It doesn't have to be this way. It seems to work okay this way. Because I did take a piece of this and put it in there with a, pull, with a roll on it to see how the roll was going to react. But meanwhile, uh, something like that. This has to be sanded down. This has to be put together. Um, and then at that point, we'll see what happens. And... Uh, get it somewhat started and then actually I can kind of just you know kind of make this a little bit more decorative uh, but again I'm not sure if this is going to work if it works then we can decide what kind of material we want it to be this way we don't have to fight with the paint with the toilet paper or even a paper towel to be honest with you make it longer or shorter and um, just take the roll off throw the roll on Plain and simple. So we're going to see uh, exactly how that works, but something like that. So now I want to try to get this together strong enough to at least try it to see how it's going to work. And then because I cut the angles a little different on one because I wanted it to be tilted a little bit, I'm going to have to sand that off, which is not a big deal to sand that down. But the first thing is get it together. So let me go to the drill and I'll be right back. We'll see if we can get this thing together. I'm back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yay! He's back. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's put a little glue on there. And, oops, I'll take my little brush over here first. Now, this is going to be one of those joints that are going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Because there's going to be a little bit of pressure on this joint. So I'm going to have to... I don't know if you can see it or not, but I, I drilled a bunch of holes. The large hole is going to be for the screw. The other holes are going to be for uh, like oh, toothpicks, basically, to kind of like help support it. Does that make any sense to you? Makes no sense to me. Oh, I forgot the drill bit. Hold on. I forgot the drill. Hold on. Now, this is kind of a simple thing that I'm doing here. And that's kind of like where we're at. And that other piece that's up there drying will have a hole in it. And this will kind of go into here like this. Now I do still, I do still, I still do, I still need to, you know what I mean, cut this shorter so that it won't be sticking out as far. And then, like I say, it'll be countersunk right into the double pieces of that. So that'll help with that. Well, actually, I'm going to countersink it into the first piece, and then I'm going to use the second piece to bolt the first, this one in. So... And then I got to sand this down, which I'm going to go do that now. And then I just want to sand this a little smaller here, bring this into a knob form up here, and have it so that the paper uh, towel will have to kind of go over a little lump or ball 
uh, to do what it has to do. But meanwhile, that's where we're at. So let me go do that, and I'll be right back.